guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this skit in the first part of this video. I made it, and, I mean, I made it, so, yeah, but that's not the purpose of this video. The real purpose is to show you this. It's a custom showcase. So, this is my custom Origins James. As you can see, he's in his black livery. Um, what I did to do this was I I sanded down his original paintwork so it was easier so that the paint stuck on a little better. You can barely see it, but that's supposed to be red lining. Uh, not sure how it looks on camera for you guys, but anyway, I filed down his paintwork and shaded it with, um, what do you call this, permanent marker. Now, another thing I want to take note of is the face. Um, before I custom this, re-customed it actually, I custom this before, that's why I had to file down the face because I colored his whole face black in hopes of getting a tar tank effect and it did not work whatsoever. So, yeah, I had to file down his face a little so that I could um, get rid of the paint or the marker and as you can see it's a little bit rough here for example compared to duck see duck's face is smoother i drew the eyebrow better, so that's technically a custom while james's face you can see that the gloss is removed so yeah that's honestly all there is to it that's honestly all there is to this custom so right on you go next it's a set of customs. These are troublesome trucks with the detailing added. As you can see, I colored every side. This one is actually a Trackmaster. A Trackmaster's truck. I think the one that came with my Stepney. You can tell because of the holes in the wheels here. So, yeah. Then this one's a Tony truck because no holes in the wheels and you can see. A tiny white spot there, or whitish spot there. Yeah, you can see that. Anyways, they're just all painted. Here's one with a face. Again, I used a permanent marker for this. Didn't file down the paint this time though, there was no need. And a box car with a face. Face, face. Anyways, on you guys go then. Right, now. The main attraction of this video was not Duck, was not James, nor was it the Troublesome Trucks. You caught a glimpse of him already in the short. It's Thomas. It's Thomas the Tank Engine. Now, I had a really old Thomas lying around, as you can tell. I've played with this quite a lot. Look at that. The running board is broken. I'll repair that in some future date, but right now, not right, well, not right now. I painted the side rods black because honestly, when it's running, I think it just looks better when it's black. It's just my opinion, so I colored it black. And, ta-da, I attached a front coupling. Now you might be wondering, what is that? What is that thing underneath him? Um, I made an error when cutting the model's chassis and I had to tape this. I had to super glue this here or else um, the coupling would fall out. Don't do this at home by the way. I mean like I only did this because I knew what I was doing. Um, it's very dangerous to cut your models. You could end up breaking the models or worse you could end up hurting yourself. So don't do that. Um, I painted this coupler kind of black, the, paint, the stuff's coming off, but yeah, and he still runs, so yep, that's it, Thomas with the front coupling and black piston rods, troublesome trucks with their detailing on, and Origins James, so yeah. Those are the three customs. Oh yeah, and duck. Duck's eyebrow. Anyways, these are the three customs. Technically four customs of the day. Hope you enjoyed this video. 